Good morning, treasurers. This is your host, Parthi Shah, co-founder of Night Fintech, and you are listening to Night Snippets. Here is what you need to know before going into trade for 23rd August 2021 in the international market. As Night Research team had expected and communicated on the podcast, minutes from FOMC meeting did not move the fixed income market in the United States. Minutes from the Federal Open Market Committee's July policy meeting, released on Wednesday, showed that the central bankers were making plans to pull back bond purchases before the end of 2021. At the same time, FOMC members stressed that employment had not met the substantial further progress benchmark the Fed had said before it would consider raising rates. On the positive side, US weekly jobless claims came in at 3.48 lakhs versus expectation of 3.65 lakhs, which is the new pandemic era low for jobless claims. On the negative side, consumer sentiment has crashed and retail sales have missed the expectations. US 10-year closed at 126 and 30-year at 187 on Friday. In the crude oil market, crude is trading at $65.83 per barrel. Short-term range for crude is 65 to 68. In the currency market, dollar index DXY is at 93.32. Today's range for DXY is 93.10 to 93.60. DXY will trade in a range-bound fashion. USD CNY or Chinese Yuan is at 649. USD INR with a high of 74.47 closed at 74.39. Support at 7420 and resistance at 7450 does exist. Trading idea for USD INR as Knight Research had anticipated, DXY bull run had continued, but now the immediate rally seems to be over for a few days until the new data comes in next month. USD INR is also directionless with a strong resistance at 7410 and support at 7445 on a closing basis. Continue range bound trading. In the domestic market, let's start today's domestic market coverage with MPC meetings of minutes of meeting published on Friday after market hours. As we all know, Professor Jayant Verma had stood up and voted against the accommodative stance. Here are his main points which are logical and persuasive. Point number one, looking at the new wave in highly vaccinated Israel, pandemic may drag for 3-5 years. Ultra-accommodative policy stance can be justified to weather the initial shock, but can it be justified for 18 months, for 2 years? Point number two, COVID-19 has hit some sectors, hospitality and travel, some segments, example MSME, some areas, example Kerala, more than others. Sector-wise help can only be provided by fiscal policy. The the help from the monetary policy in this sector-wise damage will be very limited. Point number three, monetary accommodation may in fact be creating a problem by stimulating asset price inflation. Something Mridul Sagar also hints at when he flags the danger of markets. Point number four, Mr. Verma fears that there is less confidence now that the demand side pressure will remain muted. Indeed, in a way, even Ashima Goel and Mridul Sagar and Michael Patra flag the likelihood of persistent inflation. Mr. Verma points out that even in the first quarter of FY23, inflation is not expected to fall below 5%, revealing a persistent element in the price rise. The satisfaction that inflation is below 6% is not enough since the mandate is for 4% and not for 5%. Point number 5. Mr. Verma is emphatic that the reverse repo rate at 335 is inappropriate and needs to be raised and brought closer to the repo rate of 4%. Even at 4%, savers suffer a negative real return of 1-1.5%. to MPC stands on normalization if we now start looking at that. While it is true that neither reverse repo rate nor liquidity is the remit of the MPC, such a strong pushback from Verma can't be ignored by the MPC or the markets. Mr. Samrudul Sagar said, gradual adjustments are possible within the accommodative stance. Ms. Ashima Goel also said that other normalization can start even in the accommodative stance without changing the accommodative stance. Now this raises a series of questions which market is looking for an answer to. Question number one, will RBI remove liquidity first and then hike reverse repo? Question number two, can reverse repo be hiked even with current liquidity? 
Question number three: Can reverse repo be hiked even with an accommodative stance? These are the questions market is concerned about now. As far as the market movement is concerned on Friday, 563 2026 closed at 569 versus 566 the previous trading day. 664 2035 closed at 683 versus 684 the previous trading day. Now, if we talk about the 28th August 2021 GSEC auction analysis, 610 2031 cutoff came at 9903 or 623. I repeat, 610 2031 devolved. cut off came at 623 there was no devolvement there was no cancellation firm demand was seen an entire rupees 14000 crore were accepted by rbi at 623 which is a clear signal that rbi is comfortable at 623 with natural demand and there is a demand which is to be noted trading strategy stay out of any positional buying today as mpc minutes are to be absorbed by the market Even after rupees 2.5 lakh crore variable reverse repo rate, liquidity is abundant and 91 day T bill auctioning at 332. Given the strong stance of Mr. Verma and support from Mridul Sagar and Ashima Goel, we expect the shorter end to run up faster now and the yield curve will flatten in the next six months. Trading range for 610 2031 seems to be 620 to 625. That's it for today. See you tomorrow with a new episode of Night Snippets.